What's up, traders? Eric here from MajorLeagueTrading.com. And earnings season is finally here. Alcoa kicked it off here for us after the bell today and officially marks, at least for me, the start of earnings season. And we got two pretty important ones on the list for today. Uh, Netflix and Tesla here both reported after the bell. As you can see, so did Alcoa. It is barely even moving though. This might be like the smallest earnings I've ever seen out of Alcoa uh, at just like 30 cents here at this point. So I don't know what that means going forward. Uh, we got Alcoa that's pretty unchanged. We've got Tesla that had a big move today, but now to some degree kind of unchanged. And I don't necessarily know if this uh, strength in the after hours here ends up holding or not, you know, 246s. But on the other hand, we then have Netflix. <laughs> So Netflix is now making a pretty decent move somewhere up here around the $390 mark. Um, this potentially changes things here from a daily standpoint for Netflix. Obviously, we want to see how it ends up acting tomorrow um, and if this continued strength will hold throughout the night. And then where can it go from there? Realistically, here, if this does change, you know, I think it's got 450 plus from a swing trading perspective. Um, if it doesn't decide to hold and it wants to get a pullback, then I think somewhere down around this kind of 370 ish area, uh, might be, you know, where we can potentially step in there for that swing trade from that area. So it's got to either prove strength and go higher first, then we can step in for a swing trade or it can pull back 370, 375 ish. I'll put together some actual numbers on that and then get a change of trend, get a flip. And we can take that to the long side from there, right? So a couple of things we can work with this one. Uh, and also obviously some potential day trades tomorrow. Now, with that, the biggest piece of this entire thing is that 15031.50s here in the NASDAQ finally traded today. Uh, and this was a whole lot of like zero fun. So uh, I watched every single time we came down and wicked this opening print this morning and then rallied all the way up, got these new highs on the day, you know, sold off, acted like it wanted to go. And then basically just, you know, farted around for lack of a better term here for a couple of hours today uh, before finally making that move. So from this area, we do have the potential here out of the NASDAQ, this would be the, you know, if then type statement situation for where we are, that move is, um, and that question basically is, if we can hold here at 15031.50s, then the next level above for the NASDAQ would be 15462.quarters. Now, so that's bigger picture. Hey, if we can hold here, that's where we have room to. If we don't hold here, right, in this level of 15,000-ish, 15,031.50s being the, the line in the sand at the moment, uh, doesn't end up coming through for us, for the bulls, whichever way you want to look at it, then I think we're going to be looking down here towards this daily 200. Uh, and essentially that opens up the door for about 600, 500 to 600 ish points to the downside, right? So we've got a really nice spot to go from here. We've got about 400 points to the upside, uh, and probably more from there. And we've got about 600 ish, 500 ish points to the downside here that I also think would make for a really nice move. And it's going to all kind of depend and hinge right in and around this area we're going to be at tomorrow. Uh, and, and maybe even into to Friday for the end of the week and OPEX and all of these things, I think that may be a possibility, right? Now, one thing that is kind of surprising to me here, I guess, uh, you know, with respect to just the size of the move, nav, uh, <laughs> nav, Netflix here had a massive move. I mean, 390 bucks. I know it's not a huge, huge company in terms of the NASDAQ from a weighted standpoint, right? But you would expect that if it does make some sort of move like this of almost 50 points now, that we would see some carryover in, you know, a number of other names. And as I look across the board, it's like, okay, Google's maybe up 20 cents. Meta here is up like, I don't know, a dollar, 
right? Tesla's up, you know, a couple bucks after hours on its own earnings. So nothing else is really kind of moving with that. There's no real sympathy to that. It just doesn't feel, at least right now, from what I'm seeing, um, that the market is is reacting to that isolated strength coming out of what appears to be just Netflix at the moment. So anyways, those are the things that are kind of standing out to me here at the moment, uh, just in terms of across the board. I also think it's important to note one other thing here, uh, and that's just in this Russell. So Russell was, you know, kind of the laggard. Well, not really kind of. It was the laggard here coming into this week. And then yesterday, Tuesday, we just saw that massive spike to, you know, the upside here. And I want to point like one thing out, right? Take a look at this weekly chart, right? I'm going to, I'm going to give away a little bit on this, right? But take a look at this weekly chart. Under 1736.1s, that's the level that's marked up here for us at the moment, right? Under that level, and we start, you know, working into the lows of these bars, and we'll be two topping tails, you know, deep here essentially at that point. And that really opens up a lot of room down here, you know, towards 1670s and even then some uh, coming out of this Russell here from a weekly basis. And we might see a revisit, you know, kind of somewhere down here towards these lows. So uh, I think that's a really important thing to keep note of here. This this topping tail that we've got developed here. Nice move yesterday and then gave it all back today. And this is just one other little thing that's kind of making me lean a little bit more to the downside on this move at the moment. But again, I'm not married to that side. I'm willing to you know, allow the market to prove me one way or the other what it wants to do. So. With that being said, I will wrap this video up. Thank you guys so much. Uh, as always, the wait list for the mentorship uh, is just opening here. I'm putting together the dates and all of those things. Uh, the link for that is just beneath this video. Uh, so go ahead and feel free to check that out. I also didn't cover any trades from today in this video. And I'm just realizing now um, that I had that on my list of things I wanted to cover in this video. So maybe I make another one. If you guys want another one, give me a thumbs up, click the subscribe button, let me know in the comments, and I will see you guys on the next video. Peace.